Okay, it's five to five. That's crackerjack time, isn't it? For, so, for, for people of a certain age. Uh, uh, it just falls on me to say a few closing words and a few uh, words of thanks to people. I, I was going to try and do some summing up, and I, as usual, I do this every year, as usual, I've kind of failed miserably. In a sense, I think Ema's closing keynote has done a lot of that for me. Um, I thought instead of that, I'll just say a few words about some of the things I've learned today that I didn't know before I came here. So I learned the word, well, I heard the word oligopoly, but because I haven't been able to go on Wikipedia, I don't actually know what it means yet, unfortunately, <laughs> but I will look it up. I learned that G Cloud represents a huge opportunity. I think I knew that anyway. Uh, I, knew, I, I learned that GDS is a platform approach, not just a CMS. There's a certain amount of... Uh, buzzword type things there going on, going on there, I think. Um, I learned that there's a new, uh, a new entity called the New Civil Servant, and the New Civil Servant fulfills a new set of roles. And we know that's true because they turn up and give talks wearing jeans, <laughs> which I have never seen before. I say that as someone, as someone who's a hardened jeans wearer, by the way. I put a suit on one day a year, and you're uh, <laughs> privileged to see it. Um, so... Um, on the open data stuff, I thought it was interesting. We, we've heard about using open data to support d decision making, and there's nothing really new there. Although it was interesting, there was a lot of reference to data being good enough to build businesses on, and I think that is a bit of rhetoric that, that is emerging now, that is new, and I think recognises you know, an, uh, the, the importance of this stuff, but the importance of getting it right so that people can actually do real stuff with it. We also heard there's a, there's a massive skills gap around data, uh, around data, around open data, big data, data analytics, heard that a couple of times, and that there's a pretty high bar in, in getting, getting over that skills gap. Um, and we heard some of that last year when we, when we held the symposium on big data. I learned about a zettabyte, 10 to the power 21. I still have no real idea what that means. Uh, I know that more data was going to cost me more money, not just in technology, but in terms of the people to manage that data. And I learned that managing data is not dissimilar to managing the other kind of resources we have within our organisations. It's all about policies, processes, not just about the technology. I learned we've lost control of our information at assets. I mean, I know that to be true uh, from my own point of view and to a certain extent from EduServe's point of view. Um, I can't begin to summarise Quan's talk. There was an <laughs> awful lot of material there. As I say, we will make uh, presentation slides available and the videos available and the links contained in those presentations are available. I would just say one thing. You can take it as read that none of what I say can be taken as legal advice. <laughs> uh, what else did I learn? I learned that you can be loved even if your website is a bit rubbish. I learned about the importance of making connections without everything going through the centre. I mean, that's kind of an obvious statement, but it's, uh, but it's actually very important, I think. I learned that if you ask 100 people, roughly 100 people, I think, that were in the room at the time, how many of you have tried growing bonsai trees, the answer approaches one. And I learned that the Daily Mail is a sidebar of shame with a newspaper attached. I learned that there are 1.4 devices per man, woman and child on the planet and that's going to grow to six devices per man, woman and child on the planet by some date in the future that I can't remember. And I learned that donkeys receive over £2,000 per donkey per year via charitable donations, which I think is pretty impressive. They must be good donkeys. Um, what else? Change is hard. I learned what Boris Johnson thought about the Olympics. And to be honest, I'm not that interested. But I did. <laughs> but, but I also learned that the success factors for the, Olymp the Olympics weren't that niche. And I mean, that was the whole point of that talk, in a way. It, you know, it involved new ways of working, new modes of engagement. And Emma actually wins the award for most reference to the themes of the day, I think, during her talk. Um, the importance of setting a scope and sticking to it. I learned that DevOps is a f philosophy. It's not about making dev and ops into the same thing. It's about getting dev and ops to talk together. Automate as much as you can, measure as much as you can, and share everything. That's a good, good rule of life. Um, what else? Eight million people can... 
Oh, I've written this down wrong, and now it's not going to make any sense. I apologise. I don't know what 8 million people can do. If anyone can remember that, that reference, you can fill me in later. Uh, huh? Yeah. No, 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 it was less than that. I've got, I'm coming to that one. <laughs> oh, they watched the guy jump out of the edge of space. That's what 8 million people did. But they didn't just watch, they engaged in it. That was right. I learned that um, government consultation documents are not as sexy as Google Glass. Um, Survey Monkey isn't radical. 6,085 uh, 6, people in the world like trifle. <laughs> yeah, we'd get to it. I knew we'd get to it. Okay. Oh, the other thing, stories can be as important as analysis. I thought that was a, a nice, nice phrase. Um, change is a constant steady state, so just coming on to what Ema was saying, not an aberration. Constant position of our professional lives. And I like the phrase disruption denial, and you know, I think there is a bit of that around at the moment. Okay. More seriously, I think we've learned that there is an awful lot going on. I mean, that was the point of today, really, that it was broad in its kind of scope, and we've had a lot of talks, but the point is there is a lot going on, and I think the themes of today really have resonated with people. That's the sense I've got, anyway. This was never about the private sector telling the public sector what to do, or charity sectors telling the public sector what to do, or vice versa, or anything. It was about starting a conversation, or continuing a conversation, and engagement because we all face the same kinds of challenges and the only way we're going to deal with those things is to get together and talk about them and this today I think ho help, hopefully represents you know a part of that kind of a conversation and that's really what it was all about. So now the, a little bit more of housekeeping then I'll let you go to the drinks reception. Evaluation forms, you should all have an evaluation form, I believe they are pink we do make use of them, so please, if you could spend just two minutes filling in your evaluation form, they will get used, believe me. If you've enjoyed today, please tell your friends about it. We haven't been totally successful at kind of getting a bigger government audience and a bigger charity audience uh, as we would like to have done. Next year, I hope we can do even better. So if you've enjoyed today, if you found it useful, please let people know about it because... Um, you know, it really is all about getting people together in a room so they can talk to each other. I just want to say a big thanks to all of our speakers. Can we just show our, our appreciation uh, once again? <laughs> Sadie, just stand up a minute. Can we just say thank you to Sadie, who's done nearly all the legwork for this event? Can we just say... Um, can we say thanks to Switch New Media, who've done the live streaming. I think it's been very successful. There's certainly been a lot of engagement on Twitter today. I apologise if we haven't gone to Twitter enough, but there hasn't been a great deal of time in the day for Q&A anyway. Also, to all the venue staff, the technical guys, uh, the, the guys doing the food and so on, can we just say thank you to those? And that's really all I wanted to say. You are very welcome to join us in the drinks reception next door. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Thank you very much.